How's it going everybody? James Online Car Show. Uh, if you're like me, you're tired of hearing the uh, Dodge and Mopar guys tell you, well, I've got the red key, I've got the black key. Uh, what is that? So uh, today we're going to be showing you how you can acquire the red key for your Camaro. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to a channel that I watch personally. He's got a lot of great content. Um, he, he does shout outs for mo smaller channels that are actually really good channels that just aren't getting the attention they deserve. Uh, and that, that person is Camaro time. Uh, I'm going to show you his channel here. He, uh, he's a genuinely nice guy on top of everything else, which makes it even better. Uh, but he's got two Camaros that are just absolutely gorgeous on his channel. He's got a fifth gen and a fourth gen Z28. Uh, be sure to go by, check out his channel, see what he's got going on. Uh, it's really entertaining. There's a ton of content. He's a smaller YouTube trying to make a go of it. Uh, so, you know, be sure to go out, hit him up, see what he's got going. And uh, without hesitation, let's get back to uh, the, the mod and the uh, red Camaro key. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Well, if you haven't guessed by now, there is no actual GM licensed red key for the Camaro. That's only a Dodge or Mopar thing. Now, I do have a way to get a red key and it's actually really good looking. Uh, it's a clear coated, uh, I think it comes in multiple colors. I'm gonna put a link in the description, but, uh, and I was thinking it was gonna be a, you know, a replacement for the GM cover around the fob. Uh, but it's actually a cover that goes on top of the fob, but it fits really, really tight, and uh, it looks good, as you're gonna see in the video. Uh, I've had it on for a couple days with my keychain, no issue so far. Uh, uh, you do have to push really tight to get it to snap together. Uh, I don't know if I reiterate that in the video, but just wanna throw it out there. Uh, make sure you get each side to snap down. I didn't know for a day that one of the sides wouldn't even snap down uh, until I really saw that there was a little crack in the seam pushed it down and it sealed it right up so uh, this is a really cool little mod uh, when I didn't know what to think I just kind of ordered it uh, so without hesitation let's get into I guess the uh, unboxing and then I'm gonna give you all some shots of it and uh, y'all be sure to let me know what you think in the comments all right everybody just a quick unboxing now I will say uh, as you can see here by the Chinese writing this did come in from Chinese China and it was uh, via freight did take about a month and a half to get. So I just want to warn you all in advance. Uh, now I kept contacting the guy. He was really quick responding, great customer service. Uh, but it did take a little bit to uh, actually get the product, just to let you all know. Uh, for the quick unboxing here on the table, uh, well, I'll get her out of here. We've got a uh, nice box here, key cover, uh, key color cover produced by SSJG. Uh, not much to the box there, little window, but it's covered up by the uh, protective foam. Uh, let's see here. I guess it's set up that way if you sold it in the store or something. Uh, and uh, they're, they come plastic covered. Uh, there's a nice foam in there to protect the uh, actual painted pieces from uh, being scratched and whatnot during uh, shipping. So I think the shipping on this, uh, I can't really complain on it. I think it was a pretty good shipping. Uh, got a nice foam uh, foam padding in here, or the uh, pop bubbles, whatever. Uh, it's got foam in here to protect the paint. So uh, I think shipping was fairly good, or uh, I'll give them a, a two thumbs up on the shipping. Yeah, let's see if we can get in this thing here. All right, now we got it popped open. Let's take a look at what we got here. Wow, those look uh, really good. They don't quite match the paint, of course, but uh, if I can get it without a shadow in the way here. Uh, let's get them zoomed in. Looks really good there. Now, one thing to note here, if you have an automatic or a standard, there's gonna be different part numbers, of course, because the uh, keychain or the uh, key fob is different from GM. The opening here is different because you got your uh, uh, 
auto start or whatnot. Dog clawing at the wall. <laughs> uh, but anyways, here's the uh, actual key fob themselves. Great looking paint. I mean, I don't know if you can see how good the clear coat is on the outside. Uh, I don't see a single issue with them. Great, uh, great craftsmanship on these. I mean, they are plastic, but uh, I can't see anything to uh, gripe about on that. All right, so let's do a, a quick st quick install on the keychain. Let me uh, show you all how I put these on. Thanks. Okay, this is way easier than I thought it was going to be when I ordered it. I thought I was going to have to take apart my keychain or my key fob and uh, try to actually get this thing on, but it's actually just a cover on top. Uh, so all you have to do really, you know, you've got your, your grip on this side or your uh, joints on this side, so we're just going to pop that over the top. I should probably put a microfiber cloth down, but I didn't. And then we're just going to pop that on the other side. Don't have two hands doing this, so please excuse me being clumsy. And all you do is snap, if y'all heard that audible snap there, you just push her together. And uh, that's it. And very simple two second install. Anybody, a, you know, a three year old can install this key fob cover. Uh, Looks really clean, and uh, for those Dodge guys out there with your red keys and all that, uh, I got some for you. There you go. Let me know what you think in the comments. It seems to be a great product. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Uh, give it two thumbs up. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to check it out. I've got a lot going on this weekend. I'm going to get the, uh, or I am going to personally ceramic coat the car. And uh, we've also got the Eat Sleep Eat Sleep Car Meet number 46 at the Tapioca uh, Tapioca Bar or whatnot. Uh, it looks like they're gonna have food trucks out there, a DJ. It should be a good time. Uh, so look at my uh, any of the, anybody in Houston or looking to go to the event. Be sure to uh, check out uh, onlinecarshow.net. Click on my car show page, and uh, you can see I, I try to update that weekly. So you can see what shows are coming up and whatnot. And uh, I usually send out tweets uh, about the shows that I'm attending. But I'm going to put shows on there that I think are, you know, potentially real good shows. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. I'll see you all later. Have a great week. and uh, have